got off just in time. Thanks, Brian. Starting tomorrow, a call to prayer for Muslims will be heard at Duke University for about three minutes every week. It'll sound something like this, amplified. <laughs> That's going to start tomorrow, every Friday, 1 o'clock at Duke. But is this religious accommodation necessary or just completely unfair to non-Muslim students? Joining us right now is the senior pastor of the First Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas, Dr. Robert Jeffers. He's also a Fox News contributor. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Uh, okay, what's Duke doing here? <laughs> well, look, this is political correctness run amok. Look, I'm not uh, denying that Duke has the right to do this. What I am saying is that Duke uh, is hypocritical in doing this, saying they're doing it for diversity and pluralism, when this very same university not long ago tried to cancel a pro-life event at their women's center. And their hypocrisy underscores what I've often said. Those who cry loudest for tolerance are often the most intolerant people when it comes to viewpoints they disagree with. Sure. Uh, this is a travesty coming from a school that was originally founded as a Christian school by Methodist and Quakers. It was indeed. So, okay, so they want to expand their horizon, so to speak, uh, Dr. Jeffers. Uh, so yes. if they're going to do this, if they're going to have the Muslim call to prayer at 1 o'clock, every Friday for three minutes and amplified. Let's just hope they give the other religions equal time. I wonder what time they're gonna amplify the Our Father. Yeah, you know, I would love for evangelical students at Duke to go to the university officials and say, after the Muslim call to prayer at 1 o'clock, mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock, we would like to get on the PA system and recite John 316. I wonder how far that request would go. Well, you know what? That would seem fair. But then again, you know what happens on America's universities these days? We've got a quote from the uh, Dean for Religious Life who says this this morning regarding it. This opportunity represents a larger commitment to religious pluralism that is at the heart of Duke's mission. It connects the university to national trends in religious accommodations. You know, uh, doctor, there are students of many different religions at Duke. And to the best of my knowledge, this is the only religion, the Muslims are the only ones who get this special accommodation. Well, look, as a Christian, I believe that Islam is a false religion based on a false book written by a false prophet. That's my personal belief. But I also recognize that the First Amendment gives Muslims the right to practice their religion just as I practice mine. What the First Amendment doesn't do is mandate that all religions get equal space and equal mm -hmm. time. For the first 160 years of our nation's history, our judiciary said over and over again that America was founded is a Christian nation. And although we welcome people of all faiths, our country has decidedly given a preference to the Judeo-Christian religion. I think we ought to continue that tradition. Before you go, Franklin uh, Graham, Billy Graham's son, who runs Samantha's Purse, suggests to the donors at Duke, stop giving them money. What do you think? I think uh, certainly Duke has the right uh, to do this, but I think donors have the right to withhold their donations and parents and students have the right to withdraw their enrollment. I hope they will do that until Duke reverses its policy. Well, it is a great school and now they're doing something on Fridays that have people all over the country saying, why are they doing that? Dr. Jeffers, thank you very much for joining us today from the Thanks great city of Dallas. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank what do you think about that? Email us, friends at foxnews.com.